Big and exciting news coming to Zenless Zone Zero. This is breaking news. This just came out like literally what? What's it say? Uh, excuse me. Uh, an hour ago, right? As I'm uh, reading this, uh, I was actually in the shower when this happened. Blah blah blah. You know, I I, I missed it. Okay. But we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna get this video out right right away. Right. So. This is the initial post that came out an hour ago, right? And they also delivered us a stream, or not a stream, but a video. I highly recommend that if you don't wanna be spoiled, you pause the video now and you could go check out this video because they also did put out a TLDR and that's what we're gonna be looking at today. But if you wanna give them the views, obviously make sure to go to the live stream. I'll link it down in the description down below. But before we get into the nitty gritty of it, Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoy your stay and hit that like and subscribe button down below. And don't forget to check out Gamer Subs using code Tystra for 10% off. This week we are launching the Pixel Cups, which are going to be amazing. Full LED of the cup. It's going to look great. Trust me on that. It's going to be amazing. Now, let's go ahead and dive into this. We're going to go into the TLDR. Now, first things first, we're going to talk about each upcoming optimization uh, that's coming up and then plans for future optimizations afterwards. I'm going to dissect this bit by bit and talk about what I think is good. If I think some stuff is bad and we'll go from there, right? So first optimization that we see adds an agent control function after acquiring uh, Caesar and Bernice proxies can freely switch to playing as them and explore the city in version 1.4, which is the next update after tour day Inverno uh, proxies will be able to play as any Con well, no, sorry, 1.3 and then 1. Point it's after 1.3, sorry. Uh, Yanagi and Lighter will come up first. So in 1.4, proxies will be able to play as any contracted agent in most non-combat environments. So what does this mean? It's basically saying that in like places like 6.3 or the, uh, you know, construction yard, uh, the outpost, all that stuff, we're going to be able to walk around as any character. If you're a Jane Doe fan, like myself, and you want to watch them cheeks bubbling, you know, you're going to be able to do that. And you're going to be able to be an absolute degen with it. So I'm pretty excited for that. I don't think there's really a con for that. That's actually really good, you know, because people are just like, yeah, they like Bell and Weiss or Weiss, Wise, Wise, you know. You can like either one of them, but at the same time, you cannot deny it'd be really cool to walk around as the character that you choose. You know, if you want to walk around as Anton, you can walk around as Anton. If you want to walk around as Bernice, you can walk around as Bernice. Same old, same old, yada, yada, yada. I think that's a wonderful addition. Now, let's go ahead and dive into number two. Adds fairy auto explore mode for some commissions with TV mode or TV mode gameplay uh, that proxies have already completed and fulfilled certain requirements. Fairy will help you gather unclaimed observation data and rewards from previous events. And I'm do I do apologize for the yawning. It is late. Uh, I got in from TwitchCon today, so my voice is a little bit weird as well. Trying not to like show signs of it, but I am tired, right? But what does this mean? So we they talked about this before in a previous live stream, where what's going to happen is that if you have already played that mission right and it's a very fairy mode heavy mission what's going to happen is that you could choose to go into a mode where it does a timer instead and then after the timer's finished you get the rest of the rewards and you never have to do it again so i think that's cool um i i maybe i'm gonna be a little weird about it but i don't think it was truly needed per se like i know some people were complaining about having to go back and do all the same stuff again i get it but, like, if you messed up more than twice, I can't, I can't, I, I can't, I can't see what the issue is. Like, you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be messing up that. No, I, I really don't think it's that hard, but it is a, it is a welcome change. I'm not saying that it's a bad change. It's a welcomed change. It makes the grind easier. So, ultimately, that's how I look at it, right? Number three. Adds a backup battery charge system. When the proxy's battery charge reaches or exceeds its upper limit, the backup battery charge will continuously accumulate up to 2,400 points. Now, what does that mean? Let me get my big old jug of water. Because, you know, you got to stay hydrated here. And let me tell you what that means. So, 
Just like in Honkai Star Rail and Weathering Waves, you will now be able to kind of take a day off from Zen the Stone Zero. And you'll be able to actually, you know, gather energy outside of just your normal. So it's going to be at half pace, most likely, just like how every other game is. But now we can honestly say Genshin is the last one to do this in the main four gotchas, right? Oh, that's delicious, man. And not just in the main four, but out of all of their gotchas, I think literally Genshin Impact is the only one that doesn't have that system. Not only that, but let me just gripe real quick. Even though Genshin made the resin cap 200, isn't it funny that they didn't boost the speed of the actual resin gathering? So we still get the same amount of resin every single day. It's just funny AF that... You know, they added that. They added, hey, we, you get you can store more resin, but it's like, well, what are we going to... There's nothing changing outside of the fact that we can store more. Thanks. Appreciate it. <sighs> Can't judge. Anyways, let's move on. Adds Blitz Operation Mode to Hollow Zero. This mode will let proxies jump straight into combat without having to explore the TV board. Upon clearing the challenges, proxies can obtain investigation points to complete the weekly bounty commissions. Now, this basically says if you've already completed that Hollow Zero stage and you're trying to do the rest of like the missions for Hollow Zero, you could skip the TV mode, which thank God, I don't want to keep playing the TV mode in that, you know? And it might seem counterintuitive for me to be like, oh, I love this, but I don't love, you know, uh, the one with the fairy helping you thing. And I could get that to a degree, but with Hollow Zero being harder than the actual regular missions, in my personal opinion, I, I think it's warranted not having to jump through hoops to go through the freaking Hollow Zero parts, because really it's just playing the same thing over and over again. The only thing is that going through Hollow Zero gets you the extra stuff on the side, so I'll still probably go through it, but it's only to get 100% of Hollow Zero done. But that's just me, right? So, anyways, moving on. Number five, adds new ways to obtain notorious hunt materials. Once a weekly reward limit is reached, proxies can spend battery charge to obtain more materials. Meanwhile, selectable core skill material chests will be available in the Outpost Logistics Shop, where proxies can exchange for rewards needed, or materials needed. That's huge. So, from what I'm gathering with this, not only are we going to be able to beat the cap of three notorious hunts a week, to get more of the materials that we need, which means that you could grind the character at whatever pace you choose at that point. From what I'm gathering here, uh, core skill materials will actually be in outpost logistics shops, which means that you could buy them from doing hollow zero and Shenyu defense. So again, a very welcome change. I don't think there's anything wrong with that one. Um, I, I keep forgetting to do my notorious, notorious hunts. I didn't do them this week or this last week and the week prior. I need to get back on that grind, right? So let's move on to number six. In the upcoming version 1.2 main story and, 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 and important future storylines, the TV mode will be replaced with story stages as the major means of experience. This optimization will also be implemented in the main stories in future versions what does that mean well we won't be doing tvs in the main story zenless zone zero i love you <laughs> the less time to do tvs i guess is the best because honestly that's a good change as well when you're doing main story i feel i do feel that when you're doing the story main story quest right that Doing the TVs kind of takes away from it, and it just is boring. You're not paying attention to the actual story that's happening within the TVs, in my in my opinion. You're mainly focusing on how when can I get this done. So, big win right there. Now, all those aside, let's go into planned optimizations for the future, right? So, number one, we are currently exploring optimization options regarding the shared decibels when agents use ultimate skills in combat. We will also continue to optimize the logic of the enemy lock-on function and add more types of enemies with more varied combat animations. <sighs> so, oh, excuse me. 
That comes off as like three different ones. It makes it seem like they're working on the decibels and the accumulation of decibels, which most likely to me feels like they're going to be boosting the amount of decibels you get through like switches and skills and stuff like that, which would be cool. I think that being able to use your ultimate more often is better than not. Um, however, I don't want it to just be an ultimate off because I feel like that will just be closer to Genshin. Because then I'll be like, oh, let me just use the ultimate of this character and then switch and then this character and then switch and then this character. It's it's going to be a slippery slope. I, do, I think the game's uh, overall difficulty level is perfectly fine the way it is. You need to have skill to beat the heavier stuff. But I don't want it to make it so that it's too easy to get the supers. You get what I mean? Like, I don't want this to be too easy. And then that way it just becomes like, oh, let me just let me just fat guy World of Warcraft, you know. Uh, you know, don't want that to happen, right? Now, new modes in Hollow Zero are currently under development. We will focus on combat diversity by introducing new changes to combat mechanics, and we will also add more enjoyable TV mode gameplay. I figured that that was just assumed that that was going to happen anyway. Am I crazy? Am I crazy for thinking that that was just going to happen in the first place? Because I thought that there would be constant updates to Hollow Zero anyway. Same with Shinyu Defense. So that's nothing new. I think that's just kind of a myth. Like, I already knew that was going to happen. So, I don't know. Uh, more battle rank criteria will be added. Some combat stages will introduce new challenge targets beyond time limits. Huh. Okay, so more ba more battle more battle rank. Okay. An agent accompany mode will be added. Proxies will be able to hang out with their favorite agents in the city and interact with them. And we will also be continuously improving the models for some agents like Miyabi to provide proxies with an impressed or improved visual experience. So I think that's why Miyabi hasn't been launched yet. Now, for those who don't know, Miyabi has been in the game for a long, long time. Miyabi is basically the Ayaka of Zenla Zone Zero. She's been there since the beginning. Like I played as her in beta test too. So we've all been wondering what's been going on with Miyabi and I think this is exactly why. People, they're trying to work out a system that makes it so that Miyabi stuff is actually pretty cool with visuals and stuff like that. So maybe that, that honestly seems to be the only reason why they're holding back on Miyabi right now. And then last one, a client resource management function will be added. Proxies will be able to reduce their package size by managing the game's resources. Uh, again, that's something that I figured was going to happen eventually because I know that Genshin does that as well. So this is not surprising. Overall, I think that these optimizations coming to Zenless Zone Zero are going to be fantastic, especially the current ones that are upcoming. Uh, looks like to be the latest is 1.4 for all these. And if that's all 1.4, that's going to be great. So anyways, thank you so much for listening in. Let me know what you think about these optimization, optimizations, right? Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And of course, as always, we will catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.